everybody welcome to or back to my channel and today i'm going to be doing a massive massive closet clean out because there are a lot of clothes that i just find myself not wearing and there's absolutely no point in me keeping them especially going off to school i've done closet clean outs in the past but this one is going to be different for a few reasons one, I'm going to be getting rid of probably the most clothes ever in a closet clean out. And two, I'm actually going to try selling some clothes because I think a reason I haven't gotten rid of some clothes in the past is that I know that they were super expensive and I don't want to just give them away. So I will be selling a small portion on Depop. So more to come on that in the future if you're interested in purchasing any. But for now, let's dive in. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to be tackling the shelves, which are in the very back. You can't even see them. This is where I shove stuff that I don't want in my drawers anymore. So there's a good chance that pretty much all of it I am going to be getting rid of. However, if there's some t-shirts or something back there that I don't really want to get rid of, I might keep them as sleep shirts. To start off, I'm just going to be sorting these into either keep or get rid of pile. And then from the get rid of pile, I'll be deciding if I want to sell or donate. I just finished sorting through those i'm not sure how well you could see that but i will show the piles here in a second and i'm definitely going to go back through some things and just like making sure that was just like an initial first round but the get rid of pile is definitely massive and i completely cleared out the shelves except i have my snow pants back there but that's fine definitely need to keep the snow pants all of that stuff that I just pushed back is like dance costumes, costume type of stuff. So I'm going to be keeping that. We have like an area in the attic where we put it. But now I'm going to be going through the stuff that is hanging up. massive pile of clothes that I believe I want to get rid of and this is the other small pile of clothes I think I want to keep but I'm going to go back through each pile starting with the get rid of pile and make a sell donate or throw away some clothes are like super bleached or worn out and there's no point in even donating it because it really can't be worn tackle is shoe bin all of the shoes out here are the ones that i wear all the time so i keep them out here so i can see them but i have a lot of shoes in here that i don't wear that i just need to get rid of and then i can hopefully put these shoes back in my closet the bag clean out will come at a later Time. Now that my room is sufficiently covered in clothes, I'm going to maneuver things a little bit and tackle the drawers here in a sec. This is a pile of stuff to throw away, so it's either super worn out or too personalized, like a monogram shirt to where people wouldn't want to buy it. Then this is my donate pile, so this is stuff that's like still in good condition but I don't think would sell on Depop. And then this is stuff that is in really good condition that I think would sell. So I'm going to go ahead and bag this stuff up and throw that away. I'm in front of my dresser drawers now. I just cleaned out this one, which is like my pajamas, socks, bras, underwear, stuff like that. So definitely didn't feel the need to share that part on the internet. Some of the pajama stuff that I didn't really wear, like if I buy a set, but I just wear the shorts and I did donate the shirt because like I really haven't worn it. But for the most part, the rest of that I'm just throwing away because I think it would be kind of disgusting to buy socks from Goodwill. That's just my personal opinion. But I'm going to be going through these two pants and shirts to see if there's anything else. I don't think there'll be too much in the drawers because I pretty much wear what's in my drawers and then what I don't wear gets shoved in the shelves. But so far I've cleaned out a lot, but we're going to see if there's anything else first. 
So this is the very small pile of stuff that was on my shelves that I am going to keep. So I need to put that back up. But then we have a trash bag pretty much full of stuff to throw away, unfortunately. Then all of the stuff in the paper bags is stuff that will be going to Goodwill. And this is the pile of stuff to Just The next day, I finished setting up my Depop shop last night. And I wanted to sort of explain how that process works because this was my first time ever listing or selling anything on Depop and I was super confused jumping into it and I wanted to share my insights. Whenever you first set up your Depop shop, there are a lot of on-screen instructions for you to follow, just like you're setting up any other social media account, so I don't really feel the need to explain that very well because Depop does a great job of explaining what it is you're doing and why. Now, in order to start selling, you do have to link a PayPal account. I did not have a PayPal account until yesterday afternoon, so I had to quickly set one up. But it was super, super easy. Basically, you're just linking your bank account, but it's not like sketchy. PayPal is definitely very certified and well-known. So I had full confidence in doing that. And that way, whenever someone buys something from you, the money can be directly transferred into your bank account. Now, in terms of listing things, taking pictures is definitely the most important part because you want to accurately represent your item, but also represent it in the most appealing way. So that way people want to buy it. So I followed a lot of tips that I heard in other videos on YouTube. I used a clean background, which is just a plain section of my gray painted walls. And then I hung a command hook on that. And then I would just hang the coat hanger with the item on it. And then I used one of my filming studio lights to make sure the lighting was good. But I also shot next to some natural windows. So there was natural lighting as well. I would recommend shooting your items on the same coat hanger in the same spot from the same angle, etc. So that way your feed looks super cohesive. Editing Maddie here, I completely forgot to mention, please, 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 when you're taking pictures, take them in square mode. Otherwise, Depop will automatically crop them to a square and might cut out an important detail. Now, some people will lightly edit their pictures. I personally did not do this because I don't want to be responsible for inaccurately representing an item. If you turn up the brightness too much, play with the saturation, or do like color tints or something, someone might misinterpret what the item is that they're actually buying and then you could get in trouble as the shop owner and you definitely don't want to get any bad reviews or something like that. So once you have all of the pictures made, you just create a new listing and you can input all of the information about the item. So like the size, color, brand, what type of item it is, how you describe its style, and all that helps your item rank in search. One other thing when you are setting up your posts is shipping. It's really important for you to think about how you want to manage shipping. It's going to be easier but more expensive if you do it through Depop. I personally did not choose this option because you would have to weigh each item and I don't have the scale. If you want to do that, go for it. Like I said, it's definitely going to be the most expensive option and you need to consider whether or not you are going to cover shipping costs or your customer is going to cover shipping costs. You could also do your own shipping. Some people use PayPal shipping. I'm personally not going to like make actual shipping labels. I'm just going to use like mailing stickers and handwrite the stuff because I don't feel the need to buy mailing labels. But if you're going to turn this into an actual business, I would definitely buy mailing labels so that way it looks more professional. Like I said, I chose to do my own shipping and I'm charging a flat rate of $7 with no international shipping options. Once you have all the details worked out and your shop is set up, I would highly, 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 highly recommend sharing it with people that you know personally. I posted it on my Snapchat story and offered for people who know me in real life to like me up and I could cut out shipping costs for them. And last night, within a few hours of posting that, I had several people sliding up wanting to either take a look at or buy items. So that could be a great way to get started and that way you can go ahead and mark a few items as sold on Depop. Those are all of my tips in terms of starting a Depop shop very quickly from the ground up. I did all of that in just a few hours yesterday. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've ever sold anything on an app like Depop or Poshmark, and if you have what your experience was like. And while you're down there, be sure that you're subscribed and have the bell turned on. 
That way you can be notified every single time I either upload a new video or go live. Also, of course, my Depop shop will be linked in the description if you're interested in purchasing anything. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. It's not about personality matrixels and charts. It's all about the bumps in your heart.